Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR. How are you guys doing today? Gosh, I am so tired today. I don't know why I've been so tired lately, but I'm flipping exhausted. I feel like it's a lot to do with the humidity, to be quite honest. Yeah. And I mean, we've been hitting it trying to get this uh, basement completely settled on the outer side so we can get the floor on and or for the actual top plywood and subfloor and everything for the floor joists. And we're just trying to get it that much closer so we can start working on the inside and get inside that basement. I know. I can't wait until we're working on the inside. We don't have a whole lot left to do. We're literally finishing up just the last little bits of stuff. But I swear these last little bits of things, it feels like it's taking forever. Yes. But I know it's going by quickly. I know it just feels that way. It just it just feels that way. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely, definitely does feel that way. And yeah. It's, uh, it's crazy, honestly. It, I just... Uh, just looking at everything that we've been doing and everything else like it's i knew we had to do it all and it's just i don't know i think it's all coming full circle in a sense of like holy moly like this is a lot to well, have to take in and to do and everything else it's just like ah. the thing is is when you're right in the middle of it it feels like it's dragging and it feels like it's taking forever right but then when you look back it was like, man, that was quick. Man, yeah. that was quick, you know? But what, when you're in the middle of it and you're buried with it, it's like, is uh, it ever gonna end? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pretty much. But we are super close, guys. Uh, we posted a video on Simple Life Reclaimed yesterday. You got to see all that work that we got done um, with our buddy Ricky with Narraway Farms, which, was... Ricky, if you're watching this, I hope you had safe travels home. Yes. And thank you again for all your help. Yes, like, honestly, that was a huge help and we got a lot done. Yeah. And that was nuts it was nuts like I honestly we were it was Father's Day and I set a goal of what we wanted or what I wanted to accomplish and we ended up doing more yeah we did what we anticipated we did more than we were planning on we were like okay it's Father's Day so we're not gonna work a full full day we ended up working a full day once we started getting into the mode of it and everything and you know it's me and Gary work together all the time and we have fun with it, but it's always like an extra layer of fun when we have another person with us too. It's just one more personality to joke with, one more no. personality or uh, to talk with, and also one more person to be out there motivating you and getting it done. And also like we're motivating them and it's just, it's another element of, of fun. Yeah. So the day goes by faster. Um, me and Gary have a lot of fun when we're out there too, but yeah, it just, it's different when we have somebody else. Yeah. So. It and it definitely helped. Like I said, like, yeah. we definitely were able to do a lot more. And I feel like we probably accomplished what we would have taken both of us two days. Yeah, it would have taken us uh, yesterday and Sunday. Yeah, because you would have been raking all that stuff by yourself. Yes, and shoveling all that stuff Until I was ready to get off the tracker and mm -hmm. get over there and try to do what I could do. No, it definitely, it. It's, definitely helped. It helped out tremendously. Yeah. Like, it was awesome. And we got the sump pump basins in there and now it's, all... re it's ready for us to put the sump pumps in there yeah. um what our goal for this week is we would like to finish doing all the trenching and everything for the electricity that's actually the thing that we're working on right now yep. and um we're gonna finish up with the electricity bringing it over to the basement so that way we're good there uh, no, it's not going to be inside the basement to every room on every wall and all that yet That's gonna come when we are actually working inside the basement, yep. but right now we're just trying to get it to the basement yep. So we can give uh, David his tractor back. We were gonna give him his tractor back last week But David being the bestest friend that ever was the bestest. Thank you. Come on uh, He said you know what you guys still have a little bit of work to do don't rush and kill yourselves because you know us, we would have. We would have rushed yeah. and killed ourselves um, to make our own personal deadlines and goals. But, you know, he's the bestest friend. He's looking out for us. And he says, yeah. you know, I see how tired you guys are. Why don't you guys just keep pacing yourselves at a good pace, not a kill yourself pace, and just get it back to me next week. Um, and it's very needed and helpful because we had that whole week where it did nothing but rain. So yeah. although we've had it for like three weeks, we only have been able to use it for like two. Yeah. So... Thank you, David. Thank you so we much, couldn't man. get that all this was... done without you either, bro. Love no. you, man. No, like, I, I still can't believe it. Like, every yeah. little aspect to this build, we've been uh, able and fortunate enough to have a lot of people come in and come together as a community. And yeah. uh, it's, it's a huge thankful. Like, we've had help from 
uh, Robertson's Belly Acres. We've had help from uh, Mama V. We've had help from Come On. We've had help from, you know, Drew. Half Pint, obviously. You know, Come On. <laughs> yeah. half, half Pint, which is uh, David's son. Also, Drew with Dutch Creek Cabin. Yep. No. Now, Ricky. Now, Ricky. Um, I'm trying to think of who else. I don't want to leave anybody else. I feel like we're forgetting. Oh, Matt. Matt, Matt, Matt Crocker. came out Matt for came a little out. bit. Yep. Um, uh, trying, trying to, to think. think. I don't know. Darn it. I feel like we're forgetting somebody. And if we're forgetting somebody, what a total And then we've also are. had the Mason that we actually came out and actually guided us and gave us uh, well, he, consultation. Yeah, he know. like pointed us in the right direction. Yeah. Um, now, the majority of the stuff you guys saw, we've done it ourselves. But yeah. we have had help from our friends and are without that little bits of help to help boost us and kind of get our moral morale back together. Yep. Um yeah, we, we really appreciate you guys so, so much. It's been a lot in just this last little bit. Like, honestly, it's uh, surreal. And it's finally coming to that head, man. It's finally no. coming to the head. Uh, like we said earlier, we're going to be finishing up some of this electricity, bringing it over to the basement. A uh, good thing for us is all the water is now to the basement, all the way around all of the, the terrace yard. It's all the way everywhere where it needs to be. Yeah, uh, we got our septic in. We're literally finishing the last bits of things so we could put the uh, floorboards on, which is going to be our roof for the basement, and we can close it all in. And then we'll be working on the inside from here on out until we can start doing the garage and then the cabin upstairs. So, oh. I mean, we're so close, man. The finish line is in sight. Yes, I can see it, and it makes me so like anxious, but in a good way. Like, I'm super anxious all the time now. Now I'm like, nah, but it's a good positive type of anxiety, I guess. Yeah. Like, it's not a, a bad feeling. It's a good feeling, but it's definitely there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just like, ah, i got so much to do. We gotta <laughs> get it all done. And we are. We're taking it day by day, and um, we're pacing ourselves, and we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> little by little. We are definitely getting there. It's been, uh, <clears throat> it's been a fun... Uh, Fun adventure so far and we're gonna have a great time with this yeah like honestly we're almost at a year so far on this build yeah because we didn't even start actually I think we had the land cleared out for our building sites it was at this point yeah, yeah at this time because it was right before 4th of July last year so I think no. literally this time last year was when the whole land was getting cleared out no. and then um you know we've vlogged the whole way along mm -hmm. the way so you guys have been able to watch that um but but the uh we're here now a, a, almost just under a year later and we have pretty much a completed basement foundation uh a yard with water and septic and soon to be electricity and just everything we're like set up the foundation of everything else is is what we've been working on oh. it's the the stepping stone to be able to push forward on everything else and it's taken us about a year to get to this point but you know what little by little and we it, did it. We can say there. that we did it, man. Well, heck yeah. Yeah. I put a timeline for everything in the yard wise and like all that for five years. And I put the yeah. timeline on the house for two to three years. Yeah. Depending on materials and everything else and yada yada variables, you know. But I was, that's my timeline and that's my, uh, my goal. Gonna... And I have a feeling that we're going to be doing two to three years for everything. For com complete, like 100% done. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. But I don't know. I mean, like I Maybe said, that's sooner, my five year. Knows? It might be. I don't know. But it's going to be fun. I hate and it's putting, great. Honestly, I hate putting timelines on things, at least putting it out there in the world no. to you guys. If we discuss it personally on our own, I don't, you know, that's fine, whatever, because we know how to surf and ebb and flow. But when it seems like whenever we put it out there in the YouTube world, and then if things happen or whatever, then we get hammered. And I mean, absolutely hammered. <laughs> By people being like, you know, super negative Nancy's or whatever about, you know, not expect, whatever. So I hate putting it out there to you guys like, oh yeah, we like to have it done by this because, you know, Murphy's Law plays an effect and it always seems like, uh, you know, it just does. And then, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Oh. You know what I'm but trying to say. I do like to set goals. Oh yeah, and no, I we have like, to have goals. That, and that's yeah. my goal in yeah. a sense. So, I mean, like, it's not you know, 100% set in stone, but I think that it's more feasible than what people think. Yeah. In a sense. Like, it is feasible. Two to three years to build a house. Five years to build For everything people. else around. I think that it could get done. Well, it definitely gets done. Like, I mean, you see the track homes flying up in, like, six months. The whole 
neighborhood in Vegas and stuff, but those are crews. Those are crews. Crews of crews. people, um, not two people. I no. think what we're doing is very feasible and uh, to the point where we could physically do it, financially do it, everything else, you know, like we can we can make this happen by keeping on that timeline. So, yep. yeah, it's working out. It's working out pretty good, if I do say so myself. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to get on to some of these questions, guys, because Gary and I got a lot to do today. Um, yep. We're recording. You guys are going to see it on a video coming up very shortly. Um, depending on how the rest of this week goes... It might not be Friday. You might get it earlier. I just don't know. Tomorrow is Gary's birthday. Yep. So we're planning on not working tomorrow. So um, we have a very fun day planned. Very, very fun day planned. Yes. But we are not working on Gary's birthday. We're going to enjoy and take the day off. Yeah. So um, that being said, I don't know if what we finish off today, if I could edit it out really quick tonight and put it out tomorrow for you. It really just depends on how it goes. I don't want to promise you nothing. But I, if I'm able to do that, I will. If not, then you guys are gonna have to just wait. So, but I'm working on it. If I can, if I can make it happen for you, I'm gonna make it happen for you. Um, so we did have some questions on the main channel, Simple Life Reclaimed, um, and here this one was asked like so many times. So I'm not gonna shout it out anybody specifically because it was asked multiple times in multiple ways by multiple people. Yep. So here's the question. Are we going to cap the ends of the front strains with anything to prevent critters from nesting inside the pipes? And that's not only for the um, French drains, but also for the um, sump pump basin yeah. and all the pipes that are just kind of going off into the yeah. wilderness. Yeah. So those we are going to be putting some sort of uh, <clears throat> cap per se. It's not really a cap because I do want the water to flow out. Um, I want to see if I can find some that are just like, um, I'm trying to remember the name of the actual thing, but it's like a, it's a valve that only goes one way and it will actually close. So make it to where no critter can really get in there. That would make it super simple and I don't have to really, uh, you know, worry about something like that and, uh, worry about having a clog later on or something like that to where I have to clean it. But the other solution is like, uh a metal mesh that I can fold around and, and whatnot. And, and then put a piece of, around it, coupling yeah. or something. Yeah. Yep. So yes. Yes. So we yes. are going to. Yes. It's just, we're trying to get as much done as we can with the tractor first before uh, we have to go and do anything else. Yeah. Cause all that kind of little stuff and whatnot, uh, it doesn't require Uber. No. We're trying to get all of the Uber needs done And I can first. flush out whatever's in there first before I put that cap on there. Yeah. So. <laughs> We're going to make sure that it's all make sure critter before, free yes. so we don't lock anything in, right? Um, okay, so this is another one that was asked like so many times, and I think we talked about it yesterday on Real Talk, but I don't yes. know. Our days are kind of getting Our blending. Day, yes. no, they're blending into one. Uh, so this question is, why the sump pump when you have French drains and they have a good fall? Why do we need a sump pump? So the biggest thing is with the sump pump itself, technically, no, we don't need to have one, but... Why not have one just to uh, extra precautionary to where no matter what, if uh, something happens and it's not getting out or if we get too much water or something like that, we I want that water to get out of there as quick as possible. Um, there's no real, uh, you have to have it. We're just doing it this way just as a precautionary because uh, everything's getting buried. So I feel like if it's gonna get buried, now is the time to do it before I bury it so I don't have to dig it up and do it later. <clears throat> <Yeah>. <laughs> if we needed it later, then, then I would have to dig it up and put it in there later. And that would be a pain in my butt. If you guys haven't uh, <laughs> figured it out by now, Gary likes to go above and beyond. He doesn't like to do the bare minimum. He doesn't like to just skate by with a band-aid type of fix. He likes to make sure that he's not going to have to go back and do the work five times over for the same thing because nothing yes. infuriates him more than that. Yes. So I've, if you I've haven't learned it by life. now, now you know. <laughs> I've lived that life and I'm just not about that life. <laughs> look, there are, there are plenty of times when you have to make do and yes. when you do, I mean, look at all the redneckery that we do around on our channel. Like Gary builds and makes things and stuff to do. Uh, and that's save us a little bit here and to there. save us money and time or whatever. And you, sometimes you need it right then. Right. Yeah. But when it comes to building our home, we have all the time in the world. Yeah. We, there's no real rush guys there really isn't a rush and this is our forever home so he wants to get it done right and he wants to get it done right the first time so that's why 
No. Now I'm you a know. little methodical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, honestly, it's A-OK -okay with me. Yeah. It's fine with me. I trust him. Nine, most of the time, I mean, sometimes he's wrong, but most of the time he's right. And there's always a reason for his madness. And I've yeah. just learned at this point in our marriage and our relationship and stuff, there's some things that I just have to, even if I don't understand it, I trust him and he understands it. And so I'm trusting him, you know, and then it goes vice versa too. There's sometimes some things that I do or want or whatever. Like Gary doesn't understand. He might even think is stupid, but it happens anyway because he trusts me. And then the yes. outcome is positive. Yes. Generally. Yes. So we have that type of a relationship where we just trust each other um, when it comes to making these decisions. Um, if one person doesn't understand, but the other does, that's where the trust comes in, nope. you know? So it works. It works yeah. for us guys. Okay. So this one was left on real talk and it's from Marilyn Davis. And she says, will you guys be able to take the kids on a vacation before school starts? I hope so. Um, I hope. and if we do, it's not going to be a, a far cross country vacation or anything. They have this, um, I think it's called Magic Springs, and it's inside Arkansas, and it's a couple hours away, but it's like an amusement park where they have water slides, and they have roller coasters, and they have all that. I would really like to take the kids there for a weekend, not a whole long week thing, but maybe go there for a long weekend, two days of play in the park yeah. with the kids before summer starts. Um, so it would be like a four-day vacation, a day to drive and get there, spend the night, wake up, go to the park for two days and then the last day be driving home and coming home. It's not too, too far from us. I think it's like three hours or something, which isn't that bad. No. Um, and I would like to do that with the kids so that way we did, you know, something, some sort of a vacation with them. And I know that they would absolutely love that. That would be so like the highlight of, yeah. of their summer. Um, but I don't know about when it really, honestly, right now, until we get into the basement and we are comfortable into the basement, yes. then that's our main focus. Because if we have to take the summer and finish the basement, at least we'll be in there. And then when they start school again in the fall, we'll have a nice comfortable place for everyone to be. So that way when they start school again, they're going to have a better start for the school year. So, I mean, it's not been bad being in the trailer either, like with their school year this last year, but... It was definitely rougher, I mean, than a normal situation. Yeah. So, I mean, it would it would be nice to be in there. And I know that we're going to be in there before they start school again. So, that's one place. There's also some hiking that we want to do. We were thinking, like, the, um, uh, there's some waterfalls and stuff up at Petty Jean that we would yeah. like to go see. Um, that would be cool. Maybe go spend some time north, like, in the, the Ozarks and, um like the mountain home area kind of they got that diamond mine yeah the diamond whatever. mine place there's a lot they of would love that oh gosh the little digger <sighs> he would just be digging full digging 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 they'd have a really good time there's a lot of really cool um outdoorsy types of places too that they would like to go see um yeah. and we do plan on taking them to do some of those things but i think what would be very exciting for the kids is something like that magic springs or something because no. we live very right outdoorsies yeah. anyway you know like yeah. we we live very outdoorsy so i think for the excitement level for them yeah you know i don't know but maybe and i just we just don't have any definite plans at the time marilyn um so outdoor studio was wondering is there a chance of seeing more episodes of the work in progress within a week on our main channel um he really likes the vlogs and is very encouraging on what we're doing so i want to say thank you to outdoor studio thank for you, that super sweet comment and for wondering but at this time right now, I am, we're so busy, I cannot promise more than two edited vlogs a week on oh. Simple Life Reclaimed. That's Mondays and Fridays, and then we try to do a live stream um, on Wednesdays. Now, I'm trying to move all the live streams over here to Real Talk on uh, Wednesdays, but we might still do a live from time to time on Simple Life until we can get um, the majority of folks even knowing about this channel. Uh, I think from time to time I will have an extra vlog to slip in there once in a while like kind of how right now I was talking earlier how um, we're doing a lot of this work and if we could finish this up then I might be able to edit it and get it out for you guys tomorrow but that's a big might and that only happens once in a while I no. just we're so busy and the edited vlogs t consume a lot of time to produce and right now I cannot promise any more than just those two it's no. just it's a lot of work I I think that it is highly underestimated the amount of work that goes into each and every one of those videos. 
Um, but if you guys knew, I don't think you'd be pulling my leg for too, too much more. <laughs> I can only give what I can give, guys. <laughs> okay, um, Melissa Malzan, uh, I hope I didn't butcher that, Melissa. Um, have you thought about having the kids video you guys sometimes? <clears throat> um, I definitely have uh, had the kids jump in every now and then. I'm like, hey, can you hold this real quick for me and video me? Yeah. But uh, the kids just like to go and run around and have fun, be kids. Especially yeah. now, it's summertime and they're out of school. So it's like, okay, go have fun, you guys. I'm not going to try to bore you and put you to work too much yeah we don't like to uh force the children to do anything when it comes to youtube if they are in that um wanting to be a part of it type of mood that day obviously we totally encourage that but we don't force our children to do anything with youtube because they're children no and we don't think that that's appropriate no. now if they are hanging out around us if they're if they're hanging out <clears throat> here's a good example for example scarlet actually was babysitting the drone when we had it up in the air the day that we were putting all the floor joists on yeah. so all of the kids and stuff had gone over they were hanging out with anthony and roxanne when we were doing the floor joists with come on and scarlet kind of wanted to hang out and watch and we told scarlet well look you got to stay out of the way this is very dangerous you know i really would prefer you to be over there with anthony and roxanne but if you're gonna throw a fit about it all right just hang out over here and so she was hanging out over there and I was like, okay, well, I got to throw the drone up in the air because we're going to start this work and the drone's batteries, you only last like 15 minutes, 20 minutes at the max. And I knew that I was going to have to be climbing up on top, putting the floor joists on with Gary. As soon as I hear the beep, jumping down, running over there, changing out batteries, getting back over there, getting work again. And that's how my, that's how it is for me with all of these cameras everywhere <laughs> when I'm doing work with Gary. I'm physically doing the work with Gary, but I'm doing a lot of work that you guys don't see, like changing batteries out. So Scarlett actually took that job for me, and um, she was a big blessing, and she didn't fly the drone. She wasn't actually moving the no. buttons, but she was babysitting it for me. So that way when it beeped, yeah. she could go over there and yell, Mom, it's beeping! Yeah. You need to get over here now! <laughs> yep, and then I'd, I'd jump down, and then I'd run over there, because it's pretty far distances, you know, and with the drones, when they beep, you got like 30 seconds to get that guy ready to be landing. You have like another uh, minute or two before it completely dies and it just falls out of the sky. So when it starts beeping, <laughs> you got to like get it. And so, and it yeah. it does have the, you know, land by itself and all that stuff. But it's... With all the trees out with here. With all the trees, it's very... Uh, sketchy. Eh. I don't want you to hit a tree. Yeah. <laughs> so Scarlet babysat the, the drone for us that day when we were doing all the floor joists. So thank you again, baby girl. Mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah, she did a good job. But most of the time, the kids aren't super interested in it. It's not their thing. No. They just want to be kids and go and play imagination and make their little forts and ride their bikes. And, you know, they don't mind being on the video. And sometimes they like holding the camera. Um, but unless they are specifically asking, and sometimes if I ask them, they'll say, they'll just straight up tell me no. They'll be yeah. like, no, I don't want it right now, mom. And I'm like, okay. But if sometimes if they say yes, then we do allow them to. But it's nothing well, that we're gonna force on them. No. Yeah, we're That's, not we're not forcing it on them. No. no. Um, there's one thing that I wanted to bring up. Um, there's a scammer channel out there. There's a there's somebody again. I mean, this happens from time to time. It seems like every few months we get somebody that's impersonating us and they steal our profile picture. And then they have some stupid name, and it almost looks like it's us. If you're not paying attention, you'll see the icon, and you'll be like, oh, it's Simple Life Replying. It's not us. I didn't and even hear about this. So, yeah. So what's happening right now is some, some scammer account is replying to everybody saying, let's talk about finances or something. PM me. It's some baloney. Um, we'll we, will, we will never ask you guys to contact us through any other app. It will never be like a a WhatsApp or a Telegram or um, a private messenger on Facebook or any of that stuff. That's not going to happen. If we are contacting you because you won something, first off, there's going to be like a big, huge stink that we're having a giveaway. Everyone will know that we're doing some sort of giveaway. Um, it will be on the community tab and then we'll be contacting you guys via our email address. Uh, one thing that you guys can make sure to do if you guys think that you're being scammed or if you think that somebody is impersonating us, please report that channel. Report them. I, I do the reporting on my end. I try to block them and stuff, but they're bots. 
and um, they have a way to beat the algorithm and stuff so that way they just like fly through the cracks you know they got a thousand of the same account so it's a pain in the butt, but yeah, if you guys are getting any messages or anything like that, it's not us. Uh, we would only contact you guys via email um, or through our legit like Instagram account or something. That's it. No. That's it. And you know, we only have one. We don't have a bunch of these different accounts or anything. We got the one, so you guys would know it was us. So just report those channels. We've been reporting them. Scammer's going to scam. You know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about that, but please don't fall for it. Another way you can double check to make sure that it's um, us and not a scam account. Email us. Uh, well, that, they can click on that account and then go and see are our videos uploaded to that page. If it doesn't say just Simple Life Reclaimed and our picture, and you click on it to go to that channel, and if you don't see all of our videos and all of our stuff, then you know it's a scam. That's one way to, like, That's check good. it. Yeah. You know. And also, when we reply, um, you'll get you'll look in the comment section, and if it just says one reply or a reply or whatever, and it doesn't say reply, simple life reclaimed replied, because that will show up as well, because we're the owner of that channel and the, those videos belong to us. So when we reply to comments on that channel, it will say simple life reclaimed replied, and then you can drop down and you can see all of the replies that are underneath it. So. I hope that helps. I'm sorry. Scammer's gonna scam. Yeah. Losers. Yeah, I got nothing else better to do. But uh, we have plenty of things better that we gotta do, and we're gonna have to wrap this one up, guys. No, we gotta hit it. Yeah, we gotta hit it. It's a busy, busy day. It's very humid already, but yeah. we're gonna work our tails off today, and we're gonna enjoy your birthday tomorrow. Yep. So. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a good one. So hopefully, I, I don't know, we'll see how much work we can get done. We'll see if I can edit out a video. Maybe I'll be able to sneaky peek you guys tomorrow on Simple Life. If not, I'm sorry. I don't want to promise you anything. I'm just, just know that it's floating around my noggin and I'll try to see what I could do. I'm trying to make it work for you guys. But, um, let's get it. Let's go. Well, let's so, do it. Let's do it. So until the next one, guys, we love y'all and we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later.